Try, try a chip. I've already tried one. Yeah, well, give me a score. Go on, get in there. Score out of ten. Thousand out of ten. Whoa. That's a good chip. A thousand. As well. Are you copying him? <laughs> no, you promise. Give me your own score. Come on, give me. What's your score out of ten? One million. One million. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, let me guess. Ten million. You called for it. We're here at the Black Country Living Museum. Apparently, this is the best fish and chips going. Dudley, I'm so excited about this. If you think this is the top place, by the way, get in the comments and let me know. Um, we're really interested to get involved more in this Black Country heritage, hence being here. Really excited. Now, before I crack on with this big, big, big review, which is, a fun, which is taking a funny little turn, by the way, and I'll come to that in a minute. You're going to see my map. We have a video sponsor, Big Dream Makers. Happy Halloween, by the way. This video's going out on Sunday. Now, they're doing a Halloween special. £3,000, £2.99 a ticket, Jess. £2.99 a ticket. And the best thing is, use the code FRC10 and get yourself that little FRC family discount. Now, Big Dream Makers have been a big supporter of our page. Please go and check them out. They've got loads of other great stuff on there, including some incentive schemes. Please go and have a look at them. There's the logo. Jess, we put a link in the comments to that competition. Yeah, it's being drawn today. Being drawn today. Go, last chance saloon. You can maybe zoom in when I do that. Right. <laughs> Tell you what, the production levels of our videos are going mad. Now, Jess, we've had a two hour drive to the Black Country Living Museum. Walked in, can't film in here. I've tried my best. Maybe I could do a little mat cam when I go through. So what you said is, basically, you're not allowed to do it. I said, what if I go in there? We didn't pre-arrange it, did we? No, but we just turn up. This is what we're not, we don't do this. We just turn up, we do our thing, and we, we bounce. So I'm going to go in, get the fish and chips, which apparently are amazing, um, and come out here. We'll do it out the front. And you've got to pay to get in. Yeah, £20 a ticket to get in. <laughs> This is, be, this is the most expensive fish and chips we've ever had. £3.50 car park. Is it a £3.50 car park as well? No. Oh, <laughs> excellent. So, she handed me the map and was like, right, you need to know where you're going to get the fish and chips. So I was thinking it's just like one building. It's not. It's like a f***ing village. Look at the size of it. Like, so I'm going to number 24. Where is uh, it? Number 24. It's with that little, that little fruit that you see, the little red. You see that? There's a, quite a lot going on. It looks... It, <laughs> maybe we They're not going to let you in, but maybe I could take in my camera and just do like a little. We like, I'm just like a guest, yeah? No. no. Well, <laughs> let's put it in. Let's see what happens. No. Um, you're going to have to film me walking in now like, with my map. Yeah. Like, so. Where's Wally? <laughs> see you in a bit. Yeah, huh? So. Right, as you guys know, I'm behind enemy lines, came from up there, and there's loads of cool stuff here. Right, a little bit to be fair. I'll be honest. Two reasons. Number one, because it's wicked in there and I wish we were filming outside the shop. It literally was like the 1930s. You hopefully have just seen some of Matt Cam footage. Me huffing and puffing, walking up and down the hills. And the second reason is, walk back. Like, I don't know what it's going to do to the, the fish and chips. Let's find out. So there's my map. I needed that for reference. <laughs> Definitely went the wrong uh, crossroads once or twice. Now, Jess, I'm flapping. It's a long walk that was, Jess. There's my. So I had to pay twenty pounds to get in, <laughs> but luckily it's a one-year membership. Fucking brilliant. How is it? Yeah. Fish and chips. That's not that bad then. Seven seventy-five plus my drink, which I got after. Paid for that. So this is this is about twenty-five <laughs> fish and chips here. Drink. <laughs> That was a strong drink watch. Raspberry lemonade, £2.85. 
Yeah. I could have, you could buy that for 275, couldn't you? Right, put that down there. Let's get to the good bit. <laughs> Seven. 500 people have said. Well, literally that much. Yeah, every Birmingham Yeah, where's the cone? Also, this is well funny in there. They, it's just started to rain, brilliant. <laughs> oh yeah, great. So they have a tiny queue out the front, and if you just go around the back, I'll get you for chips. 150 people out of the way for fish chips. <laughs> okay. Black Country Living Museum, fish and chips in Dudley, one size, one size only. Here we have Jess, <laughs> my Black Country Chish and Fips. I'm gonna be honest, this wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. Like, I thought it'd be a fish and chip shop. Uh, just hold fire there. <laughs> go, go back over there, get, get yourself sorted. This is like, honestly. <laughs> right, a couple of reasons why it wasn't um, what I thought it would be. I thought it was or uh, black country chips, you know, like orange chips, battered chips, they weren't. One size only, and I thought it was a shop that like, you could just go to, not spend 175 quid <laughs> to run in three miles away, get your fish and chips, and run back to film in the car park. Not ideal, but look, you guys are, yeah, it's got, this batter's gone all soggy. So, look, what do we do? I think you should dock him a couple of points and not let me in, start with. <laughs> yeah? So we'll start him on minus two. All right? We get to make the rules. The same way as they make the rules, we make the rules. <laughs> you still laughing about Callum's umbrella, aren't you? <laughs> First thing, Jess. Get yourself together, Jess. Come on. Chips. Very, very tasty. A lot of salt. Good flavour. A little bit of crunch, nicely cooked. Do you get curry sauce? No. It's like 1930 Jess, they didn't they had curry back then, did they? <laughs> Literally, I'm walking in tonight. <laughs> yeah, just film just trying to do a food review. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you certainly can. You come and watch here if you want. Oh, get under the umbrella, come on. <laughs> What's your name? Come on. <laughs> no problem. So, the chips are delicious. We've got some crispy ones, nicely cooked, good flavour. You can see them loaded them in out of these sort of replica white buckets from, I think, is it 19, you can help me here. Is it 19, 1930s? Yeah. There we go. What's your name? Juki. Juki, nice to meet you. Very useful, very helpful. <laughs> it really was quite cool. Good experience all round. Now the fish, this is the main part. This is probably the the, uh, the main event, shall we say. Very thick batter. Do you see that, Jess? Yeah. Very, very thick. And of course, with my journey back to the car park. Back to yeah. 2020. Yeah, back to 2020. <laughs> I time travelled. Didn't feel like I was time travelling. I was marching up that hill, though. <laughs> but we've lost some of, the, some of the crisp. However, you can see probably what it would have been like if I had it fresh. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Looks kind of good. But let's just dive in and, and, and uh, see, what it, see what it tastes like. Good flavour. The fish is on point for that batter for me. Soggy or not soggy, it's very, very thick. In, in fact, that's one of the thickest outer coating batters I've ever had on the page. Flavour's there though. And what you lose with it being so thick is it's not quite so delicate, but what it does mean is it, the uptake of uh, the, sort of the vinegar and the salt really get into it, so the flavour is there, but it's not quite as appealing on your mouth. In your mouth. The best. You guys said this was the best. Far from it. I'm gonna be honest. Even overlooking. Even overlooking my my six mile walk. <laughs> you can still tell the batter is, is very, very thick. I, thought, I definitely thought you were going to get orange chips. Very, very heavy too, Jess. Did you ask for orange chips? Yeah. And they did, just didn't do it? No. Them.
price point. See ya. Oh, on Food Review Club. Yeah, have a look. Hello. Yeah, we try. We've got an audience. Do you want to get them on? Do everyone want to say hello? Hello. Yeah. Do you want to try a chip and give me a score out of 10? Come on. Come and try a chip. You need to give me a score out of 10. Come on then. Try a chip. I've already tried one. Yeah, well, give me a score. Go on, get in there. Score out of 10. 1,000 out of 10. That's a good chip. 1,000. As well. Are you copying him? No, you promise? Come on, give me, what's your score out of 10? One million. One million. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you, let me guess, 10 million. A thousand million. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Thank you. I, I need to find one. Go on then. <laughs> what's that one, any better? There we go. That's the future right there. Thank you very much. Bye bye. A thousand million out of ten for this. Look, he's obviously a rookie. Young food review. Food review club. Yeah. Thanks. He's like, I'm on YouTube. Good rap. Kids love it, don't they? They all want to be YouTubers. So, Jess. <laughs> I'm working here, mate. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Say again. What does he say? Am I going to be on it? Yeah, yeah you, you're going to be on it. You're watching this now, you little tinker. So, Jess. All in all, it's half good. There's none left, so. I said the portion wasn't big, my love. Huh? It was quite small. It, it was small, small, yeah. All in all, If I was on a day trip here for 775 or whatever it was, 750, would I be happy with that? Yeah, probably. Um, it's tasty, does the job. Having it, having the fish particularly uh, there and then would have been much better than walking out. That being said, this is a crispy bit. That was perfectly crisp. Yeah, quite oily. Quite oily, quite heavy, a little bit greasy. We were tipped off. This could have been our best ever, by the way. Um, sorry to disappoint. It's quite a long way off the mark for me as I'm smashing it in, but yeah. Ten minutes, by the way. Fine. That piece of batter I had then may have been the most oily, heavy piece of butter I've ever had. Yes, the flavour's good, but of course, you won't have too much more of that. Time for a score. Now, remember we're docking them two points for not letting us in, <laughs> even though it was our fault for not telling them we were coming, but we don't tend to let people know. We just turn up and do our thing. I'm a paying customer. I paid my way. Never mind. They've got a process. They've got rules, so that's fine, but we've got our own rules. Minus two. So I would, I would, give, I would give this like a... I got a 6-2. So with the deduction, that's a 4-2. That's low. Well, I've got a two-point deduction. Or should we, should we less than the deduction, like half a point yeah, or something? Half a point. Look, whatever. <laughs> Don't worry about too much about the score. It wasn't very good. However, inside there, magic. Properly amazing. You've got old buses, coal uh, bits, steam train stuff. The streets actually look like the 1930s is actually very nostalgic and incredible and probably a great um, celebration of black country living. So, best fish chips I've had? No, especially not for 27 quid or whatever it was. <laughs> but um, we made a two hour trip here. Was it worth it? I'm not so sure. You like and share the video. Go and get behind Big Dream Makers. Thanks for watching everyone. And that was another review.